There's some new photos of Billie Eilish floating around on Twitter that have a lot of people freaking out and it's something that we need to talk about right now. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And today is my birthday. Not only am I 34 years old, but I am seven years clean and sober from all substances, drugs, alcohol, all that stuff. So do me a favor, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. That would just be, oh, the best birthday present you could give me. All right, so yeah, how did I find out about this? Well, for my birthday, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and myself and my lovely little son, we went to go see the new Child's Play movie. And anyways, on the, on the way back, um, my girlfriend Tristan, she told me about this thing going on with Billie Eilish. And we got it home and I started seeing it. So I saw that even Justine May Bidicon, um, she is a former contestant on America's Next Top Model and she's you know been on some other things or whatever but she retweeted this so this all started from some random guy just some random dude on Twitter and he posted this picture of Billie Eilish saying Billie Eilish is thick all caps right and he posts a few more pictures of her and this this tweet is getting a lot of traction it's got a lot of people really really upset for a few reasons all right so one of the things one of the most common things that people are saying in this situation is like Billie Eilish is only 17 okay so what this dude said was 17 is legal in like over half the states right and it's still still kind of gross okay so just to put it in perspective for you i live in las vegas in nevada and in nevada like yeah it's legal here right but if you're 16 you can only get with somebody who's 18 and if you're over 18 the person has to be 18 right unless there's like you know permission from a parent which is weird in and of itself like when i heard about that law i'm like what kind of parent is gonna like sign a permission slip for that but anyways billy eilish is 17 years old now Today, on my birthday, I'm 34 years old. I am two Billie Eilishes, all right? God, I am old. Anyways, so, <laughs> like, I think about that. I'm like, that is gross, right? And although, like, you know, people are saying, you know, it's legal and things like that, like, like my, my girlfriend and I, Tristan, like, we have a little bit of an age difference, but it's not like she was a teenager. Like, just seeing when guys kind of say that, I'm just kind of like, ah, ugh, 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 it's just gross. But anyways, a lot, I've noticed a lot of women have been replying to this tweet, and if you're a, a, a woman watching this video, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. But anyways, one of the things that they've brought up is this clip right here. I mean, that's why I wear big baggy clothes. Nobody can have an opinion because they haven't seen what's underneath, you know? Nobody can be like, oh, she's she's slim thick. She's not slim thick. She's <laughs> she got a flat ass. She's got a fat ass. No one can say any of that because they don't know. So yeah, if you know who Billie Eilish is, typically you know she's wearing like baggy like track suits and things like that. Like even at Coachella, she was wearing something you know pretty baggy because she doesn't want to be identified as you know what her body looks like, right? And it's something that's been kind of a theme with Billie Eilish. For example, when she was uh, being interviewed on The Ellen Show, her Tourette's came up. So Billie Eilish has Tourette's syndrome and she has tics, right? And Tourette's syndrome, for those of you who don't know, it's not always like a verbal type deal. Sometimes it's just like kind of like body and muscle tics. And that's what Billie Eilish struggles with. But she didn't want to like put that in the forefront because that's not what she wants to be known for, right? Like Billie Eilish is a musician. She's an artist. She wants to be known for that. And something that, you know, she thought about as a young woman growing up in this industry, she did not want to be identified like as her body. She didn't want to be sexualized, you know, because if you look back, like for example, my old self growing up, you had people like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. And from a very young age, like these young women were being sexualized. Now, if a young woman wants to do that, that is 1000% her choice, right? And that's what something that's interesting too, when people talk about Billie Eilish like being an industry plant, you know what I mean? Um, because you would think that like uh, a record label or anybody like that, like her management team would try to sexualize her. Now, 
Something else that came up was this dude, um, he, he started getting a little defensive. So he made some more tweets and he showed this, this Instagram photo of Billie Eilish saying like, oh, so I'm the one sexualizing her, look what she said. So the caption on this, like I'm not gonna say it, so hopefully YouTube keeps me monetized, but it says comment your whatever size, right? And <laughs> surprise, surprise, there's been a lot of pushback on that as well. A lot of people saying like, yo, that was a joke. But anyways, like I said, if you're a woman watching this video right now, I would love to know your thoughts on this because here's the thing, like, from a male perspective, like, I grew up, um, you know, around, like, you know, the masculinity and everything like that, and I remember being younger and seeing, like, older men, you know, maybe my dad's friends or whatever, like, catcalling women and everything, and now, in the, the age of social media, it's a thousand times worse, right? Like, growing up, I've, I've had a lot, like, primarily my best friends are women. They just have been. I have a lot of guy friends, too. But anyways, like, the stories I hear, like, that's where this kind of bothers me. The stories I hear of, like, women I know, women in my life, who, like, get catcalled, like, it is creepy. It is creepy as hell. Like, if you're a dude watching this, like, how many times, like, statistically, how many times has catcalling like actually worked out. Like I always play this scenario out in my head. Like I imagine like a couple getting married and like at their wedding discussing like the story of how they met. And could you ever imagine somebody being like, oh, you know, I was just walking down the street and like, like John, he just screamed across the street. And he was like, yo girl, you looking thick as hell. And I just knew I was in love. Like I can't imagine that happening, right? <laughs> but for some reason, dudes still do that and catcall. But the other thing is too is, um, I know a lot of women who struggle with anxiety, who struggle with, you know, trauma from previous experiences. And like, even my best friend, um, she's a, a, a young woman who lives in Southern California. She's actually moving back to Vegas, but that's none of your business. Anyways, like she was telling me a story about how like, it was late at night and she was like leaving a concert or something like that. And like some dude was like catcalling to her. And then he like followed her. And I'm like, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like. I can only imagine if I, you know, my, I have a son, but if I had a, do a daughter, I'd be scared as hell because dudes do do stuff like this. It, and I think that might be why so many women are speaking up about this, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, because many women out there have dealt with this in real life, right? Or, you know, on Instagram or on Twitter, you know what I mean? But anyways, as a father who is raising a young man, like I feel that it's my responsibility as a father to raise him right, to be a gentleman, to not do that. Like he's only 10 years old right now, but as he gets older, he hits, you know, the whole puberty age and everything and starts dating, which I'm like, ah. But anyways, like it's important for me to talk to him and teach him about, you know, respecting women and how to treat women and everything like that. Like that is something that's very important to me. Like. It's, it's something that I knew not to do growing up, but I know not everybody is taught or raised that way because when you look at it, like a lot of people, a lot of us, even me and you, whether it's cat calling or just behaviors we have as we grow up, a lot of it has to do with how we were raised, what we were exposed to and all of that. But yeah, it's, it's also like, we need to discuss how, you know, like when it comes to teenagers, especially someone like Billie Eilish, like, a lot of that is just really out of line. I know she does have young fans, a young audience, you know, but when you have older men saying stuff like that, it gets a little bit on the creepy side. But I don't know, I might be crazy, I might be wrong, and it is now your opportunity to let me know. Let me know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below. It was blowing up on Twitter and a lot of women are out here defending Billie Eilish and how she doesn't want to be sexualized. So I would love to know from all of you. And like something I try to do and I, I God, I hate saying stuff like this because I don't want to come off as like a white knight or anything, but I like being educated about things that I don't go through. Like <laughs> this may come as a shock to you, but nobody's cat calling me when I'm walking down the street. So when you guys share your stories, like feel free if you wanna share what you've experienced down in the comments below to help educate me or any other dudes who are reading those comments, maybe it'll help, all right? But anyways, 
that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, it's my birthday, baby. So do me a favor and follow me on social media at The Rewired Soul over on Instagram and Twitter. All right? But if you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And all of you beautiful patrons out there, don't forget, most of you get free copies of all my books, like Rewire Your Anxiety, which is coming out very soon. So make sure you check that out. And if you want to become a patron, click or tap right there. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.